Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a remote user VPN using controller version 6.1.71. A lot of people have commented in my older VPN videos to do a new one as they can't find the settings. So instead of commenting back, we're just going to do a video on it. If you guys are new here, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks. We have an Amazon storefront if you'd like to support this channel. And we also have a Discord community and I'll put all the links in the description below. So why would we want to create a remote user VPN? Well, if you're away from your location or you have remote workers, this is a great way for them to be able to connect to your network and get access to your resources. Also, if you wanna locally manage any of your Unify gear, you could turn off the cloud remote access and then you could create a remote VPN to get into your network to do any configuration. So the first thing we need to do is go to our settings. So I'll click on the settings wheel. And then we need to enable our radius server. If we don't do this, it won't allow us to create the remote user VPN. To find the radius server, we go to advanced features and then scroll down. Here you will see radius and we're just gonna use the default radius server. So I'll click on these three dots and we'll press configure. And then we're gonna turn on the radius server. You need to specify a secret password. We're just putting in test one, two, three, four. And then we'll press apply. Now we need to go and create the remote user VPN. So we'll go up to networks and then we'll add a new network. Here I'm gonna call it remote VPN and the router is gonna be my UDM Pro. We can click on VPN settings and here we're gonna specify the remote user VPN. You can do site to site VPN as well. The VPN protocol, you only have one to choose. It's L2TP and then we need a pre-shared key. Make sure you make this strong. For this video, I'm just gonna put test one, two, three, four. Now, if you have multiple WAN interfaces, you could specify which one you want the VPN to go over, either your WAN or your WAN2. The local WAN IP is gonna be any and then the gateway I'm gonna give it is 192.168.202.1 and this will be our IP pool. Name server will leave to auto wins in site to site VPN exposed. We're gonna leave that disabled. And the radius profile we're gonna use is the default and we'll press add network. Now we can see the remote user VPN is created right here and there's zero IPs that are being leased. We still need to create a user. So how we do that, we go to advanced features and we go back to radius and we'll click on the three dots and then go configure. Here we have our radius users and we're gonna create new radius user. I'll call it Cody. And we're gonna give it a password. I'll just put test one, two, three, four. VLAN ID will leave blank. The tunnel type, we'll put it to L2TP and the tunnel medium protocol will be IPv4 and we'll press create user. Now that we've created the remote user VPN, I'll show you guys how to do it from my iPhone. So on screen, you guys can see my iPhone. And the first thing we're gonna do, we need to go down to general and then go to VPN. Here, we're gonna select a new VPN and the type is gonna be L2TP. Then we're gonna put in a description, which I'll just put in unify test. The server is your public IP address or the WAN IP address connecting to your network. The account is the account we created in the radius, which is Cody, and the password will be test1234, and then uh, the secret will be test1234. And then we'll press done. And then we're gonna connect on the status. It will say not connected, we're gonna connect, and you should see it connecting up top. Now you can see here that the VPN is connecting. So that's it for the remote user VPN on Unify Controller 6.1.71. You can always go back to the classic mode. I find it makes it a little easier. And if you wanna enable MS-CHAP version two, you need to go back to the classic mode. If you guys have any questions about this video or want me to do any other videos in 6.1.71, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.